Templates provide a way to make a class or function operate with different data types without having to rewrite the code for each type. The example here shows a function that swaps two integer arguments. To convert this method into a function template, which can work with any type, the first step is to add a template parameter declaration before the function. This declaration includes the template keyword, followed by the keyword class, and the name of the template parameter, both enclosed between angle brackets. The name of the template parameter may be anything but it is common to name it with a capital T. As an alternative, the keyword type name can be used instead of class. They are both equivalent in this context. The second step in creating a function template is to replace the data type that will be made generic with the template parameter. The function template is now complete. To use the template, swap can be called as if it was a regular function but with the desired template argument specified in angle brackets before the function arguments. Behind the scenes, the compiler will instantiate a new function with this template parameter filled in, and it is this generated function that will be called from this line. Every time the function template is called with a new type, the compiler will instantiate another function using the template. In this example, the swap function template may also be called without specifying the template parameter. This is because the compiler can automatically determine the type, because the function template's arguments use the template type. However, if this was not the case, or if there is a need to force the compiler to select a specific instantiation of the function template, the template parameter would then need to be explicitly specified within angle brackets. Templates can be defined to accept more than one template parameter, by adding them between the angle brackets. The second template parameter in this example allows swap to be called with two arguments of different types. Class templates allow class members to use template parameters as types. They are created in the same way as function templates. Unlike function templates however, a class template must always be instantiated with explicitly specified template parameters. Another thing to remember when using class templates, is that if a method is defined outside of the class template, that definition must also be preceded with the template declaration. Notice that the template parameter is included in the swap template function definition, after the class name qualifier. This specifies that the function's template parameter is the same as the template parameter of the class. In addition to type parameters, templates can also have regular function-like parameters. As an example, the imp template parameter is here used to decide the size of an array. When this class template is instantiated, both a type and an integer have to be included. Class template parameters can be given default values and types. To use these defaults the angle brackets just need to be left empty when instantiating the class template. Note that default template parameters may not be used in function templates. If there is a need to define a different implementation for a template, when a specific type is passed as the template parameter, a template specialization can be declared. For example, in the following class template there is a print method that outputs the value of a template variable. When the template parameter is a bool, the method should print out true or false instead of one or zero. One way to do this would be to create a class template specialization. A re-implementation of the class template is then created, where the template parameter list is empty. Instead, a bool specialization parameter is placed after the class template's name, and this data type is used instead of the template parameter throughout the implementation. When this class template is instantiated as a bool, this template specialization will be used instead of the standard one. Note that there is no inheritance of members from the standard template to the specialized template. The whole class will have to be redefined. Since there is only one function that is different between the templates in this example, a better alternative would be to create a function template specialization.
This kind of specialization looks very similar to the class template specialization, but is only applied to a single function instead of the whole class. This way only the print method has to be redefined and not the whole class. Notice that the template parameter has to be specified when the specialized function is invoked. This is not the case with the class template specialization.